Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin. And I'm Adam. And today we're watching Demon Slayer Season 1, Episode 7 called Muzan Kibutsuji. Well, well done. I would have butchered that. <laughs> I just let it flow, baby. Um, we learned who he was last episode. The original demon. So he must be the strong. I mean, he's going to be the strongest. So, I mean, his the task for Tanjiro has gone like from I'm starting first rung of the core to like go kill the, the head demon. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that's the ultimate goal. I'm... I'm I'm not thinking he's going to meet him today. If he met him today, that would be absolutely wild. Are you kidding me? So I don't think he's going to meet him today because that would just, that timeline would be wild. Like, yeah, he'd die. <laughs> but maybe he's learning about him today. No, that's, that's fair. But what do you think, what do you think his death count is? Oh, if he's the original, thousands. So he's been, he's been alive for a thousand years. We right. just made that. Did, no, didn't he say that? I don't know. <laughs> or was it a hundred years? It's got to be longer than that. I'm not. I don't remember the exact timeline. Well, I'm just thinking. If he's been alive for a thousand years and he killed a hundred people a year, we're talking about ten thousand people. Uh, we'll see. Um, we've got some more pressing issues at the moment. We've got the demon that has split himself into like three different individuals, Voldemort style. Um, and you know what, Nezuko is coming to finish off the job. Okay, she busted out of that box with a little karate kick and... I'm not gonna lie, I was a little surprised by that kind of change in how their relationship is gonna work. And I'm excited that she's gonna be... I don't know, would she be a sidekick or would she be... No, they're like a dynamic the duo. Yeah. The main dynamic duo for sure. Um, the other little tidbit that was just the icing on the cake for me last episode was the fact that Urokodaki hypnotized her. Did not expect that, did not see that coming, but I'm here for it. No, I like it. Um, I'm pumped. I'm getting more and more excited every episode here. I mean, again, I know I haven't watched a ton of anime, and I, I'm not sure what I was expecting from this, but I'm invested. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. We're not going to wait any longer. Season 1, Episode 7 of Demon Slayer is coming right now. Oh gosh, the grinding! Head spinner. Little socks. Just the cut. Do you think she she killed them? No, she's gonna hit their head right back into their puddle and they're just gonna disappear into the ground again. Those socks are like 80s aerobic socks. I was, yeah, I was gonna say Jane Fonda socks. Oh my gosh, I love that. <clears throat> um, perfect recap, perfect like segue. These it. these guys are done. Okay, everybody. Oh. 
出借贵。Let's go！ 俺の小滝さんが言ってた。ネズコは今、鬼だと。必ずしも、自分が守らねばならないほど、弱いわけではないと。いいのか、任せても。Do it! 二人を守ってくれれば、攻撃に専念できる。Oh no! さらにこの沼の闇は体にまとわりついて重いだろう。そ<笑>れ、so、ポートルになるんですよ。そのようには動けんのだ。生を見ろ。浅はかに自ら飛び込んできた愚か者が。<笑>I'm assuming he decapitated them inside the vortex, so. Oh, look at those pieces! Little ashes. Fitting, fitting that they died where, where they took their victims. I love that. Oh, and the humanity. Wait. Feeling that you were underwater? Yes, I was holding my breath that whole time almost. The whirlpool move. You'll love to see it. 
Excuse me while I recover. <laughs> I'm curious what, like, I don't, I don't know if this is how it should be, but my brain always goes to like, how does it actually work? And I know it's fiction, but like, who's holding the portal open right now? Between the swamp and the real world. Is it going to close on him? Is he going to get locked in there? Well, one of them is still alive. That's true. Maybe when the third one... That's a good question. Does that swamp exist all the time? Or does it only exist because those creatures were using it as a habitat? If the third one dies, is that <clears throat> swamp just gone? You can no longer get to it? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. This is where my brain goes. Yeah. That's interesting. Do you think Nezuko kills the last one, or do you think Tanjiro does? I mean, I think it would be awesome if Nezuko did it. <laughs> I'm hoping that Nezuko does it. I'm curious how another demon kills another demon. Because they don't oh, have the sword. Oh, that's true. Maybe it has to be Tanjiro. That'll be interesting. Alright. Yeah. It's a bar! Nezuko is that strong as like a baby demon, her and Tanjiro are literally gonna be the dynamic duo because when she gets strong and develops um, more sophisticated attacks and gets more powers, like if they're impressed with her now, she's gonna be insane. We're talking about generational talent from both of these two. Just this a generational family? Yes! But I, I'm a little confused, given what I know so far, in that I thought they gained power from consuming blood. And she's just been sleeping, so like... That's the thing, it's crazy. I don't so know. So you think it's like innate? Could be. 
I guess we have to wait and find out. Yeah, I'm curious how she's gonna get stronger, but if she's like this already with no like nourishment or and no experience, that's wild. I'm gonna sleep for two years, you train for two years, and we'll be at the same place. <laughs> This guy must be terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're compelled by the same thing. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah, it's like the way he talks. 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 Thank you very much. We are done here. <laughs> Through the mat, I'll cut them off. そして寝ている。仕事待ってる。回復するための眠りか。ごめん。ちょっと待ってくれ。兄ちゃんがきっと人間に戻してやるから。I guess it's not welded to his back. <laughs> I kind of wanted to see her try and fit, see her try and fit her in there. I have moments of just brilliance and then moments of real head scratchers. Kazumi-san, <laughs> this guy's in shock. His eyebrow hair is all over his face. <laughs> I thought he was going to tell him about mm -hmm. his family. Oh, that's what he grabbed. I didn't, I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm.
Mission, <gasps> mission one in the books. Mission one accomplished, baby. Uh, I kind of like that he didn't tell him his story. I was definitely expecting him to. Why do you like it? I kind of like it because it allows Mr. Kazumi to like feel his own grief and not he's not trying to like minimize it. I mean, sure, he would be relating to him in a way, but just like I think it's valid that Mr. Kazumi is feeling the way he is and by not saying anything, for me, I'm interpreting that as like, I see you, and I understand, and I'm just like... Yeah. Adam has no thoughts on the matter. Um... No, I just, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm not sure that there's a right or wrong answer there. And it was, I was just expecting him to say anything, but I definitely gave him a chance to think about it, and somehow he knew that he had been through something similar, whether it was... The connection or the look in his eye so i'm gonna but i mean on the other hand in my experience with grief it is the one thing that ties basically all of humanity together and it is something that everybody shares and it's not talked about like everybody kind of lives it in an isolated way and so there is something to be said for being willing to talk about it and to share it and it like the connectedness that happens from talking about it. So I appreciate that he just like let him express himself because it seemed like that's what he needed in that moment. But by the same token, Adam's bored. Um, but by the same token, it's nice to know that people get it. I don't know. Yeah. It's such a tricky situation to know because everybody is in such a heightened state when that happens mm -hmm. and maybe they'll, you know, maybe there'll be an outburst no matter what you say. And I think a lot of people um, are really worried about saying the wrong thing mm -hmm. in those situations. But Practical question. How old is Tanjiro? Did they mention that at all? Feel like they did. I feel like he was a teenager when the show started, but I'm not sure exactly how many years have gone by. I would say my guess would be he's like early 20s. Because Mr. Kazumi said it's not a boy's hand, like obviously with all the work and stuff. So like physically he's a boy. So that just makes me wonder how old he is. Also because the Mr. Kazumi's fiance is his fiance and the demon said that they don't attack girls that are older than 16 so that means his fiance was 16 or younger and how old would he be then like obviously it's like hundreds of years ago and so people like you know settled down earlier too yeah. and like things were just more accelerated than they are today but i'm just it's like calling into question so many things about like everybody's age <laughs> so if you know tell uh, me somebody's gonna know i think he's early 20s okay but early 20s with a baby face like you not he's not early 20s though but he has a baby face here's your next mission congratulations on to the next くるしめた。気物地無駄。俺はお前を絶対に許さない。はあ。お。that bird seems incredibly annoying. Wow, those buildings, they have lights. A trolley. We're advanced here, people. <laughs> he 
He's in his like country outfit. Nezuko's just walking with him in public? It's nighttime. She's good to go. She's got her muzzle on, though. And she's sleeping. She's sleepwalking. Just put her back in her box. Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Yamakake Udon, it's all the Gary. I got over there, I must say. How he's paying for things. Right in the middle of dinner. No! Finish the udon. It's a waste. Yeah. Not the cold. No, she, she wants blood only. <laughs> You think the orange eyes would give it away, but... I'm, I'm just blown away right now. I mean, I, I shouldn't 
I, I don't think we should be surprised. I'm shocked. <laughs> that the show escalated that quickly. But like, <sighs> you go from one guy not willing to tell you who he is to running into him in Tokyo. That happened. Not only that, the smell of the demon that killed his family. Yeah. Is the one and only Kibutsuji Muzan. I mean, but we don't even know if other demons can turn other people or if he's the only one. Like, there's so many unknowns. He literally just scratched that guy's neck. No, no, I get that. But what I'm... No, what I'm, I'm saying the assumption is that they had to, like, kill the person. Or, like, get them close to death. That's what I assumed. And, like get them close enough to dying that they turned. I didn't realize that it could just be a simple, like, scratch. Yeah, I have so many questions right now. And the fact that he did it so casually in public... With his wife there, and his kid, if that's even a thing. Yeah. Maybe. How is he... You think he's maybe some kind of hybrid? I don't know. Alright, uh, yeah. You'd think she'd wonder where those orange eyes came from, but I don't know. I'm That just left me with so, so many questions. I'm so rattled. This also leads into something that I was going to say before when the three-part demon had a flashback to Muzan. I was like, last episode I said he kind of looked like Beethoven, like he looked like a composer, but then when I saw the lapels on his jacket in that flashback, I was thinking of like a Spanish conquistador or like a bullfighter. <laughs> but then, he's just a guy in a suit. <laughs> Way less cool. I wonder if he was testing, um... Tanjiro by creating a demon in public to be like, is this dude a demon slayer? Let's see. Well, that's a good that's a good thought. Or do you think he just knew? And that's why he made sure that he saw his daughter. I mean, he's carrying one of the swords. You would assume the demons know about the swords. But maybe like Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I I I not where I thought the episode was going. Not at all. I think for the whole episode, I held my breath for at least half of it. <laughs> well, I thought the title of the episode was like, alluding to the fact that the triplets would not tell him about him. Or just but, like, here's some information yeah. about him. This legendary figure. Nope, found him. There he is. With a human wife and a human daughter. Uh, it's going to take me a while to get over this. Let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, wow. Let us know your thoughts. Answer some of our questions, if you're able to, without spoiling, please. My, my one other question, and I don't know if... Ha, did we see any other demons turn humans? Like, the guys that he turns, can they also turn people into demons? Or do they just... Eat. I'm doing a quick scan back. We saw Nezuko turn. But he recognized the scent, so obviously yeah, he was there. I'm just, I'm just thinking. Yeah, no, I'm thinking through it too. I don't think we've seen The it. triplets, we didn't see any of them. We saw the flashback to when the big scary demon from the final selection was turned, but we just saw... Like, that he was, like, going to meet his brother or something. We didn't see, like, that how that happened. Interesting theory. If that's, if that's a spoiler, don't say anything. But it was just... Now I'm, now I'm curious. This anime keeps getting better and better for me. I am so invested and... But, like, where's the story gonna go now? And this is something that I've loved so far with watching this, is like, normally when you watch TV, like, you kind of have a feel, you kind of know what's going to happen. I'm blown away. Well, it's kind of like Sailor arc. Moon with Queen Beryl. She was fighting her, like, the entire, like, for so much of that series. 
I have no idea what you're talking and about. And like, but. it was like a known enemy that just kept, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I was warned that this is like, oh, this is, you might not like it, blah, blah, I'm loving it. Hooked. <laughs> so we are excited for next episode, and I hope you are too. Um, we would be so happy, as always, if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned because we need to find out what's happening here. Okay? Love you guys. Bye.